Uh, good morning to everyone. Um, I am TM Rajendran. Uh, I am heading uh, Liptomics platform in the metabolomics core. Uh, today I am going to talk about uh, the methodology which I have uh, established for comprehensive analysis of lipids in biological system. Yeah, LCMS based uh, shotgun lipidomics. First let us see what is lipidomics. It is a simple, very simple definition, just identification and the quantification of lipids found in an organism. Lipid, lipidomics itself is a distinct, unique discipline due to functional specificity of uh, lipids related to other metabolites. They have the following biological functions. They act as a cell, a successful component of cell membrane. They serve as uh, energy storage sources and are participating in cell signaling. I have checked already talk about the structural diversity of lipid. I also going to talk about those things in the next couple of slides. Um, because of the structural diversity of lipids, uh, identification is uh, very challenging. Why do you want to study lipidomics? Why lipids? Lipids are a larger group of naturally occurring organic compounds with a molecular weight less than 2000 Dalton. It includes uh, fatty acids, glycolipids, sterols, phospholipids, and sphingolipids. Many of the individual lipid species are associated with uh, the evolution of uh, different disease. A uh, lipidomics uh, is a is crucial for understanding cellular pathology and physiology in uh, human, plants, and indeed all organisms. Lipidomics uh, also can explain uh, uh, the treatment and pathology of uh, many of the disease, uh, which includes cardiovascular disease, metabolic syndrome, lipid storage disease, and cancer. A yeah, better understanding of uh, lipidomics profiling could significantly improve diagnostic medicine as well as uh, provide a novel treatment options. What do we look for in lipidomics? What are the information lipidomics will provide for the investigators? Lipidomics will provide a comprehensive lipidomic profile for complex biological systems such as tissues, cell lines, biofluids uh, like plasma, serum, saliva, and urine. The mass spec based uh, lipidomic profiles reveal the lipid alterations that occur in uh, metabolic uh, disorders such as obesity, diabetes, hypertension, stroke, and atherosclerosis. Lipid profiles also can help us to identify metabolic pathways, which are activated or deactivated when shell shifted from one physiological condition to other physiological condition or pathological condition. Integrating lipidomics to other omics such as genomics, proteomics, and metabolomics provide a powerful tool to, to decode the molecular mechanisms of lipid-associated disorders, biomarkers, and novel therapeutic targets. Let us see uh, how lipidomics uh, differ from metabolomics. Metabolomics is an identification and the quantification of metabolites, including lipids. Lipidomics aims to identify and quantify different class of lipids in biological systems. The molecular weight of metabol metabolites is uh, less than uh, 2000 uh, Dalton, which includes amino acid fatty acids, polyamines, carboxylic acids, pyrimidine, pyrimidine metabolites, sugars, vitamins, etc. Lipids uh, also below 2000 Dalton, the molecular weight. It covers uh, from simple fatty acid to complex glycero and uh, sphingolipids. In metabolomics, the extraction protocol takes place in a single step. 
In a single step, we extract both the lipids and small molecules metabolites. Whereas in lipidomics, we enrich only lipids using liquid liquid extraction. In metabolomics, the metabolites will be identified by matching the precursor ion accurate mass only. But in the case of lipidomics, the lipids will be identified by MS2 level, that the product ion match. There is no fatty acid information can be obtained from metabolomics of complex lipids. But we have information when you do lipidomics. When you do lipidomics. Lipidomics allow us to profile all low and high molecular weight lipids, but metabolomics we can profile only low molecular weight lipids. By enriching only lipids by liquid liquid extraction allow us to profile all different class of lipids like free fatty acids, glycerolipids, glycerophospholipids, sphingolipids and sterols. And also low molecular weight lipids, more low, low molecular weights mainly so lysopieces which contains only one fatty acid chain and also monoglycerol and high molecular weight lipids like uh, cholesterol ester and uh, triglycerides and uh, complex lipids like uh, sphingolipids. In M the MS2 product ion based data acquisition in lipidomics help us to identify lipid tile information in complex lipids. The objective of uh, our uh, protein, our met sorry, metabolomic score is to provide uh, a comprehensive lipidomic profile for the identification of different lipid class in biological systems. The core also provide expertise and the facilities to, to provide high quality lipid data for funded and proposed research. If the new investigator, if they wants to go for seed grant or pilot grant or some exploratory R21 grant, we can provide a preliminary data for them, for the grant proposal. And also it's already they have a funded grant, they want to extend their uh, research to lipidomics, then we will provide a high throughput lipid data. And we also provide necessary equipments and expertise for the identification and the measurement of lipid biomarkers for the detection of the disease. Uh, these are the following analytical technologies have been used for the identification and the quantification of uh, lipids, gas chromatography mass spectrometry, liquid chromatography mass spectrometry or a nuclear magnetic resonance. In GCMS, it offers um, higher chromatography separation because we are, using, we are using 30 and 60 millimeter column, meter column. But it used only for polar, it is only for uh, volatile, semi-volatile and thermally stable compounds. Non-volatile compounds needs derivatization. But this is a one of the best method for the identification and the quantification of free fatty acids. Monoglycerides and the diglyce also can be identified and quantified using this method after derivatization. Unlike GC, LCMS offers less chromatography separation, but it used a wide range of polar and non-polar compounds. The main advantage of uh, LCMS derivatization is not required. Unlike GCMS and the LCMS, for NMR, no separation is required. The main advantage of NMR, we can recover sample for further analysis and is highly reproducible. But the disadvantage of NMR is low sensitive. It requires higher concentration of metabol metabolites for identification. All three methods, GCMS, LCMS and NMR are used to identify and quantify lipids in blood and also urine. The three methods also used for the identification of unknown lipids. This is the overview of steps involving in uh, lipidomics uh, profiling of biological system. The major step involves lipid extraction, separation 
and the LCMS deduction, and then <coughs> spectral analysis, data normalization, and delineate class specific lipid profiles, and the altered pathways, and their functional studies. Lipids extracted from biological samples by lipid lipid extraction after spike the internal standard and dry the lipid extract, reconstitute appropriate buffer, and put it into mass spec. Pooled plasma, test plasma, and the authentic standards will be used as quality controls. The reverse space chromatography is used for separation of lipids, and the lipids will be identified by, um, detected by LCMS, both positive and negative mode. The lipids will be identified by database charge based on the MS2 product ion. After filtering, imputation, and log transformation, and data normalization, delineate the class-specific lipid profiles, followed by pathway mapping and their functional studies. So this is the structural diversity of most commonly analyzed lipid species. Fatty acid is the most simplest and important class of lipid. It acts as a precursor for most bioactive lipids. For example, arachidonic acid is a precursor for eicosanoids. They play an important role um, as a signaling molecule in inflammatory disease. Glycerolipids are relatively simple, which includes monoglyceride, diglyceride, and triglycerides. They contain glycerol backbone. So these kind of lipids can be obtained by esterification of fatty acid at the OH group of glycerol. If one OH undergoes esterification to give monoglyceride, if the two hydroxyl group undergoes esterification to give diglycerides, if three OH undergoes esterification to give triglycerides. The triglycerides act as uh, energy storage sources and also play an important role in diabetes and obesity. Serial lipids consist of cholesterol and cholesterol ester with a four ring core structure. Cholesterol ester can be obtained by esterification of cholesterol. So these serial lipids are associated with cardiovascular disease and also play an important role in signal transduction. And, the, and the, one of the major important class of lipid is glycerophospholipids or phospholipids. They contain glycerophosphate backbone. One of the proton from glycerol OH is replaced by this phosphate group. So they call as glycerophospholipids. Depending on the X group, the polar head, this can be further divided into six major groups. That is phosphatic acid, where the X is hydrogen. And then phosphatidyl choline like PC, the phosphoethanolamine PE, phosphodiglycerin PS, phosphoglycerol PG, and the phosphoenacetol PI. So these phospholipids also play an important role in the signal transduction. But it has been reported that a certain class of glycerophospholipids like PC, PI, LPC, and PE have been identified as a potential marker for obesity, ovarian, and pancreatic cancer. Sphingolipids are complex lipids. They contain sphingoid base. The sphingoid base is nothing but um, 1 comma 3 dihydroxy 2 amino alkane or alkene. Both ceramide and sphingomyelin are N acyl derivative of sphingosine. Sphingomyelin contains phosphocholine as a head group similar to phosphodialcholine in glycerophospholipids. Due to the structural diversity of lipids, identification is very challenging. But the recent advantages in mass spectrometry aid us to identify and quantify lipids in biological systems. This is a mass spectrometry based technologies have been used routinely for the identification and quantification of lipids. That is direct infusion and LCMS based lipidomics. Direct infusion involves ESI based MS, tandem MS, and MS MS all. In the direct infusion, the dried uh, crude extract reconstituted with the infusion buffer and directly infuse either full scan MS or tandem MS or MS MS hall. 
the single full scan MS and detects a large number of molecular ions, that is the precursor ions. The MS2 scan provides the products of the molecular ion. From these products, we can identify which class the lipid correspond to, belongs to. For example, the PC16081 produced three major fragments, 184, 496 and 522. This 184 is correspond to the eight polar head group of phosphodialcholine, that is phosphocholine head group. The other peaks correspond to the, the pass head chain 16081. So from this fragment, we can easily conclude, so the, um, the class of lipid is PC16081. In the case of tandem MS, we perform precursor ion scan and the neutral law scan to identify the parents of all products which are capable of producing that particular product and the neutral loss. For example, here we identified 184 as a major characteristic peak for phosphocholine. If you use this 184, if you perform precursor ion scan on tandem MS, it able to identify all the parents of 184, which are able to produce, which are capable of producing the precursor, that parent um, product 184. Similarly, if you do neutral loss scan at 141, it produced all the parents of phosphoethanol amine, which are capable of producing the neutral loss 141. In the end, here in the MS, MS all, we acquired all the precursors, product ions and neutral losses in a single scan. If you want to do a comprehensive lipidomic analysis, you take this raw data, directly export into the database and profile all the class of lipids. Or if you are interested in any particular class, we extracted from this full scan spectrum by using the characteristic fragment. If you want, if you are interested in only phosphocholine, you use this 184 to extract only phosphocholine lipids. So you, using uh, full scan MS under product ion scan, we have identified uh, characteristic head group fragments of different lipid class. In phospholipid, the phosphocholine produced 184 as a major product correspond to the phosphocholine head group, whereas the phosphoethanolamine produced a new cell loss at 141 corresponding to the loss of uh, ethanolamine. Similarly, other phospholipids, uh, PG, PSPA, produce a corresponding product ion under the neutral loss based on the loss of head group. Sphingolipid ceramide produced 264 as a major product which correspond to the dehydration and the loss of SN2 fatty acid chain. Sphingomyelin exhibits 184 as a major peak similar to phosphodialcholine in uh, phospholipids or the loss of uh, phosphocholine. Uh, and as we seen earlier that the triglyceride do not contain any head group, but they produce a characteristic neutral loss of uh, ammoniated, uh, fatty, uh, uh, ammoniated fatty acids. When you perform neutral loss scan on this uh, neutral loss ammoniated uh, uh, fragment, we can identify all the parents of triglycerides. In Shiraz, the cholesterol ester producer 369 as a major product uh, for uh, cholestein moiety. So these characteristic group fragments can be used for the identification of uh, lipids in biological systems. And it's also used to, to perform uh, precursor ion scan, neutral loss scan to identify all the parents of the corresponding products. So if you, as you seen uh, earlier, if, oh, sorry. As I told you earlier, if you perform uh, precursor ion scan at 184, in the direct infusion, it identified all parents of 184. So you let the input that, uh, into the database, then you extract all the um, only, precursor, only phosphocholines. 
Similarly, if you perform neutral loss at 141, it identified all the patterns of uh, phosphoethanolamine in human plasma. But this dietary infusion is uh, the approach is limited because individual cans are required for the analysis of different class of lipids. And also it is suffered by ion separation and isobaric overlaps. Alternatively, liquid chromatography can be used to separate uh, lipids before entering to the mass spec and uh, reduce the complexity for the identification of lipid. That is the objective of my talk. For that, we extracted lipid uh, using a modified bleach dyer uh, extraction protocol. The lipid extracted from biological sample after spiking internal standards, one per class. By adding equal volume of water, methanol, and dichloromethane. The bottom layer containing a lipid organic layer carefully extracted from this aqueous layer and dried and reconstituted appropriate buffer, put it into mass spec. The dried lipid extract injected onto 1.8 uh, micron water acuity column, which was heated uh, to 55 degree. The binary mobile phase contains 40 percent acinal nitrile and 60 percent water in 10 millimolar ammonium acetate. The buffer B contains 10 percent acinal nitrile and 90 percent IPA in 10 millimolar ammonium acetate. The flow rate is 400 microliter per minute. And the injection volume is uh, 5 microliter. The runtime is 15 minutes. There are two kinds of controls that will be used uh, for the lipidomic profiling studies. One for uh, to monitor the instrument performance and uh, another for uh, lipid extraction process. To monitor the instrumentation performance, we used a matrix-free mixture of internal standards, dried, and reconstitute with appropriate buffer and put it into mass spec. And we run multiple runs and check this stability and reproducibility. Once it passed this step, then will we continue run the batch. Otherwise, we don't run the batch. We will call the engineer to come and look why it's a drift in the detention time, why it's not stable. To monitor the liquid extraction process, we use human pooled plasma as a primary control. And the test pool small aliquots from uh, test samples as a secondary control. Lipid extracted from this pool to plasma and test to plasma after spec the internal standards along with the test samples. And uh, injected every 10 samples in the sequence to monitor the instrument stability and also the extraction process. Lipids were extracted in the test samples also after extraction, after spiking internal standards to monitor the extraction efficiency. This is a chromatogram of uh, human plasma in the fasti mode. As we see in the figure, see it's an excellent separation of different lipid class. As we seen in the figure, all low molecular weight lipids like liso, PC, P and SM elute in the low retention time. And the high molecular weight lipids such as triglycerides and the cholesterol ester elute at the higher retention time. Other lipids, PC, PE, SM, diglycerides, and ceramides elute in the middle of the gradient. This separation is consistent with the negative mode. All free fatty acids elute uh, at lower gradient. The anionic lipids like phosphoglycerol, phosphoinositol, phosphoserine, and the phosphatic acid elute retention time between uh, 5 to 10. To determine the stability and reproducibility, the same pooled plasma lipid extract inject multiple times on the overlay on the top of each other. As you seen in the figure, that is not dripped in the retention, retention time. That shows the method is extremely stable and reproducible. For uh, mass spec database acquisition, we used the uh, data dependent MS2 acquisition, then we ramp pollution energy from 20 to 50. We use a lipid blast library for identification of lipids by matching product ions. 
multi-quant software will be used for the quantification of lipids and internal standards will be used for the normalization of different uh, lipid class. Tanu is going to uh, talk about this in more detail. Using our established method, we have identified more than 500 lipids, which include glycerolipids like diglyceride and triglyceride, and the sphingolipids like sphingomyelin and ceramide, and the other phospholipids PC, PE, PG, PS, PE, and cardiolipin and PA. After we established a method, uh, we have been successfully running the following samples for the, for the clients. Tissues like prostate, <coughs> breast, skin, nerve, kidney, liver and retina. Biofluids like plasma, serum, saliva and urine. Salines from different disease and also stool samples. As a case study, I am going to talk about uh, identification of lipidomic alteration in prostate cancer. As we know, prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer related death in American men. At present, uh, the, the diagnosis tool for screening prostate cancer is uh, prostate specific antigen test. But the test is not sensitive. It is elevated in both benign and cancer. So there is a need to develop additional markers to improve the specificity and the sensitivity. For that, um, we use the LCMS based shotgun lipidomics for the comprehensive lipidomic profile for the identification of lipid biomarkers. For that, a yeah, cohort of 42 plasma samples, which include uh, no evidence of malignancy, that's a normal sample 21, and uh, cancer proven plasma sample. 21 used for this profiling study. We profiled uh, 811 total lipids. There are 188 significant lipids out of 811 lipids. And further we mind the data, data set, uh, we identified uh, 54 most significant lipids. This is PCS score plot uh, showing the uh, separation of uh, normal and uh, cancer samples uh, based on that uh, 54 differential lipids. The green represent normal samples and the uh, red is cancer. As we seen in the figure, the normal samples are clearly separated from the cancer sample. This is a list of uh, differential uh, 58 uh, total lipids. As you seen in the figure, most of the top hit lipids are phospholipids like PS, PE, then PE, plasminal P, PS, uh, and uh, glycolipids like triglyceride. So this suggests phospholipid metabolism and uh, glycolipid metabolism is increased uh, during cancer progression. So this is the levels of uh, uh, phosphodiol serine yeah, differential lipids uh, uh, in 42 prostate derived plasma samples, which includes 21 normal and 21 cancer samples. As we've seen in the figure, all phosphodiol serine are significantly elevated in cancer samples than the normal samples. This data is consistent with the levels of uh, Phosphoethanol, I mean, the same set of sample uh, used for this study, there is uh, total 42, 21 normal and 21 cancers. Here also the cancer samples showed elevated levels of uh, phosphoethanol, I mean. The levels of plasminal P also consistent with this. Then the levels of triglyceride also support our uh, earlier observation of uh, phosphoethanol, I mean, and the uh, phosphoserine. Uh, where uh, the cancer sample showed uh, highly higher levels than the normal samples. This box plot uh, showing the levels of uh, differential lipids in prostate derivative plasma samples. As you seen in the figure, uh, in all cases, the cancer samples show 
elevated levels of uh, lipids than the normal samples. For to determine the diagnostic potential of uh, individual lipids, we used uh, univariant analysis. The detailed uh, analysis George will talk about this maybe today or tomorrow. And then we used the univariant analysis for selected the most uh, differential lipids. The ROC uh, um, analysis showed the area under for each lipid is more than eight. That suggests suggesting the individual lipids will predict the presence of the disease more accurately. So what I am going to do in the future, I am going to validate uh, these uh, individual lipids in an independent cohort of plasma samples and uh, make as a training set and validate the training set to the test set to uh, develop a model for the prediction of the disease. As a summary, we have developed a <coughs> high throughput uh, LCMS based uh, shotgun lipidomics for the identification and the quantification of different class of lipids and we are successfully running uh, for the clients. The method allows us to profile more than 600 uh, unique uh, lipid species within 15 minutes. And as I showed you in my presentation, the method shows excellent stability and reproducibility. And our preliminary data on uh, lipidomic profiling of prostate cancer <coughs> predicts the presence of the disease more accurately. This suggests the robustness of our present methodology. And thanks for your attention. I am happy to take questions. Yes.